I'm pretty excited. I just got the sideboards for our tunnel extension and I made that mock-up, sent it out Monday morning. They received it Tuesday, cut it Tuesday afternoon, shipped it out and I got it yesterday. You can't beat that. Unbelievable services from TPI Industries Incorporated in Delson, Quebec. Check for their contact information at the end of this video. You want to know something? They're snowmobilers. They have sleds, they do a lot of modifications to them, they make their own little spindles and ski legs and parts and pieces and accessories that they need, so chances are very good that if you need something for your sled, they're going to know how to make it for you. Anyway, I've got this here. It's time to open everything up, see how everything looks. Carbon fiber rear grab bar. Now that's 3 16 thick. I can't recall what strength this aluminum is, but I know it's uh, beefed up stuff. That is nice and nice and light the way we like it. Wow. Beauty. It was kind of nasty in behind there. And you know what? I think snow's going to get caught in here and stick and we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to use this handy little black tape that I bought earlier and I put inside the tunnel. I'm going to stick that in behind. So hopefully I have enough to do it. That's all I have left. I'm not going to be able to stick the whole thing, but I'm just going to go. I'm just going to take a marker, more or less draw out the sides that I need, where I need to place them. So I'll cut them and I'll just slip them over top of those little marks. Well, that worked out perfectly. I had just enough to fill in these little holes here on the sides, so I'm gonna cut these out, place them in where they need to go. I need to clean up this tunnel a little bit too. I need, uh, I need to take out this rivet. I need to clean up these sides here. There's some little dimples in the tunnel here for structural support. I need to take those out so the plate fits in a little better. And we'll see what else has to be done. I know this has to be trimmed up here. But let's get that all cleaned up. There, I know where they go. These are bang on. All right, okay. I'm just going to set a couple in here to hold things in place. A bunch of you have made comments on this uh, tunnel extension that I'm building saying that you don't like it. It's an ugly look. You know what? We don't have a choice. It's the way Skidoo designed this sled. It has to have this little flip up in the back here. And I'll show you why. The angle that comes off the bottom of the tunnel 
is too extreme to lengthen it any more than about, geez, I'd say 12 inches, 16 inches. If you go back too far, I've got to go all the way back to here, you basically run out of tunnel extension. You'll have no thickness there to put your grab bar on. I think I worked it out, and by the time I get back to where my grab bar has to be, I'll have about two millimeters of tunnel extension, and obviously that's not going to work. If you look on the internet, you look at any of these revs that have been extended, they're all going to have the flip up in the back. There's nothing you can do about it. I know I like the look of a straight tunnel, but that's just the way it is, so we work with what we have. And I've answered that question for you. So I'm going to bolt this on now. It's ready to go. And you know what? I don't think it's going to be the ugly duckling that you think when it's all said and done. It's going to be a good looking little sled. All right, here we go. Rivet this thing in here today. So before I do anything, got to determine where I want to cut this off. It's going to be right about here. Because you know what? I can cut it off after it's all done, but it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. So now's the time to do it. I have to do some trimming. That way I'll have room for the rear uh, tunnel brace that comes off the old ZX chassis, or I'll pull it off the one that came off of this. And it should bolt up pretty well. I'll clean this out too. You know, this thing's starting to come together. Looking a little tighter now. Things are trimmed up. Have to leave these holes open here. I'll, after I get the other side on, I'll install the tank and the brackets. And I'll work on the back and install the crossbar or the grab bar and the tunnel flap. Right, everything's coming along. Put the running boards on. Rock and roll. Okay, got to get the other side done. It's time to put this carbon fiber grab bar on the back. It has a aluminum reinforcement that goes inside here. And I'm going to use these supplied Allen head bolts, but I'm going to use some blue thread locker on it because it's going into aluminum. And I don't want these coming out because, you know, sleds shake apart. It's just part of their life. Pretty much guaranteed if you go somewhere on your sled and start sticking a wrench or a screwdriver to something, there's going to be something loose on it. That's just the way it is. Wow. Machined to perfection. 
Once everything's back on, I have the suspension in and the tracks on it, then I'm going to see how everything looks. If this is extended back too far, then I'm just going to move it ahead a little bit, cut this off, trim it up, clean it up a little bit. But you know, when we made this, made up the plans. We didn't have the sled in the fabrication shop to get everything exact. So, you know what? We did a good job as is. Looks awesome. Woohoo. I got to thank the guys at TPI Industries Incorporated in Delson, Quebec. Make sure you check out the end of the video for their contact information. They have hydro cutting capabilities. They can do any type of machining that you need i got to really thank them. I, unbelievable that they came through and did this for me. It's very nice. Like I said before, it's the kind of people that watch Power Mods. I have to thank you guys for coming by as usual. We got those sides all done. Now I'm able to get everything installed, and now we can move along pretty quickly with everything else. The engine's all ready to rock and roll, get back in the sled. So it should come together pretty quickly. I'm not waiting on any more parts. Everything's in. Good to go. So let's check this out.